Hello, welcome. This is my mini IMDb clone. Here, uh, in the search bar, if I will search any movie like Avengers. Now here, you can see all the parts of Avengers. If I will click on the Avengers Endgame, now you will see the poster of the movie and all the details here. It's year, rating, release date and writer, actors, plot, everything. Here, if I will search another movie like Hulk, now you will see all the parts of Hulk here. If I will click one of that, now you will see it's all the details of Hulk here. It's year 2008, writer, actors, and plots. Now this is my IMDB clone mini application. Now I will show you the code. In the HTML, let me show you. First, I have given a title here, movie search website, and after that, font awesome CDN link here, and a link related to style or CSS. And in the div class, I have given a wrapper, and for the logo, I have used a div class container here, and in the p tag, I am dv, and in the span, I have used a clone. Uh, for the search container, I have used a div class here for the search element, and in the s3 tag, I have used a search movie as a heading and input type text and class form control in the placeholder I have used a search movie title which you will see in the search bar and on key app you will find the movies on click you will find the movies also and in the div class I have used a search list id and it's a search list and in the for the list here I have uh, used as an example for the guardians of the galaxy here which I have kept in the comment and uh, for in the div class container for the result I have used a grid type id here and at last I have used a script.js connected it to the javascript now I will show you the style.css in the style.css first I have imported the url of font and for the for the root i have used is a dark color light dark color and the yellow color here and padding margin webkit box sizing and box sizing for the whole body and for the body i have used as a font family and anchor tag text decoration here for the images i have used a width of 100 percent and display block and for the wrapper tag i have used a min height of 100 vh and the background color with a dark color and the, for the wrapper container I have used a max width 120px margin and padding for the search container I have used as a background color height display and a webkit boxed align and a web click box pack here for the logo I have used as a padding and the border bottom and for the logo logo p tag I have used as a font size of 2 ram color and font weight here and for the logo p tag and span tag here i have used a color yellow variable color and uh, for the search element i have used a display for the webkit box like a flex box and display flex for and here in the webkit box align i have used it stretching and you can see that for the webkit box orient i have used a vertical and for the direction I have used is a normal and flex direction I have used a column here and position is relative. Now for the search element for the H3 tag I have used a flex item align and a align self margin light and font size color font weight margin bottom. Now for the search element form control I have used a padding font size border border top left radius, border bottom left radius, outline color width, search list I have used a position right top max height overflow and index here and for the search list items I have used a background color and a padding border bottom width color and cursor here. Now you will see if for the search list item hover I have used a background color for the search list items I have used a display flex here and a webkit box and flex box and for the webkit box align I have used a center 
or the search item thumbnail image, I have used a width of 40 px and a margin right of 1 rem. And for the search item info, you will see the font weight 600 and the font size 1 rem. For the search item info in the p tag, I have used a font size margin top font weight opacity. For the thumbnails, I have used a search list scroll bar and width 8 px. For the search list scroll bar track, I have used a box shadow and for the search list scroll bar thumb i've used a background color outline and the border radius for the js related class i have uses a hide search list here and give it a display none and for the movie results you will see i have given a movie poster here and padding 3 rem and movie poster img i've used a max width margin border text align color padding for the movie info styling i have used a movie title font size color movie movie information i have used a list and a display a flex and a webkit box and a flex box and padding here in the movie info for the year i have used a font weight 500 and movie info rated you will see the background color of ratings uh, and padding, margin, border, radius, font weight and for the movie info uh, release you will see the font size of 0.9 rem, opacity 0.9 movie info writer you will see padding and margin and for the genre I have used a background color, display, padding, border, radius movie info plot I have used a max width, margin, movie info and you will see the awards, language and for the awards, I have used the font weight and font size here and the color also, margin. And for the media, max width I have given a 450px and font size 1.4 rem. And the search element in the S3 tag, I have used a font size for the search list with write webkit as a transform to translate it. And uh, search list items I have used a width of 100%. Now we'll see the media. Minimum width 800 px for the search elements. I have used a box orient direction and a flex direction here. For the search element, I have used a margin bottom, result grid, and grid template columns. For the movie info, text align, padding, movie info, info, uh, webkit box pack start, and uh, uh, justify content for the flex start, and a padding left, which is zero. And for the plot, I've used a margin left and the writer for the margin left and padding is zero. Now I will show you the JavaScript code here. Now script.js. First I have given the API for the titles and details with my API key and OMDVI API. And for the movie search box and search result, and search list I have used a uh, get element by ID here for the load movies from API I have used a async function here for the search term and given the URL of OMDB API and with my API key it will fetch the URL and show the response here and now uh, if uh, data dot response is equal to true it will show you the search list result here and for finding movies I have used a function here uh, movie search box dot value it will trim if the search term dot length is greater than zero it will show you uh, the height search list and else it will show you uh, search list with add and function dot display movie list I have used an inner HTML here with the help of ID if ID is equal to zero and it is less than movie dot length it will show you uh, the details of the movies with the help of IMDB ID of each movies and it will show you the poster if it will search and if it will not found it will show you image not found and after that I have used an inner HTML here for the search item thumbnail here I have used a poster and for the search item information here I have used a title here which will show you uh, when you will click on a sufficient movie here now for the load movies details I have used a search list dot query selector here for the search list items and 
add event listener for the click when you click on it on a movie or the search list class list for the hide list I have used a const result here for fetching the API and will show you the all the details of the movie and for the display movie details I have used a function here and given an inner HTML in the div class I have used a movie poster here uh, with a poster when you will click on the details of movie you will see the poster here and if it will not show it will show you uh, image not found okay and in the div class I have given a movie information and movie title movie misc year rating its release date and genre writer actors plot language awards when you will click in a movie now in the window at last add event listener for the click event I have used as a form control which will show you when you will search any movies thank you this is my IMDB clone mini application thank you